Welcome back everyone, it's Husa 57 here. We are back on Neverwinter on the Xbox One. And today I have a very special glitch slash exploit for you that I know I've told a couple of people and they've actually been really interested in. So I figured I'd go ahead and do the video now since we have a double Astral Diamonds event. And I know everybody is going to be having a ton of rough Astral Diamonds and want to refine them. So we'll get right into how this works you'll see that I have a pretty much brand new character that has never had any astral diamonds or rough astral diamonds on them. Now this is on Xbox One, so we can refine 36,000 rough astral diamonds to astral diamonds per day. And as you can see, I have a bunch of gear that I can go ahead and salvage for astral diamonds. So what we want to do is make sure that we have at least 72,000 rough astral diamonds on this character before we go ahead and start. And I'll go ahead and show you. I'm just gonna get a few of these pieces uh, salvaged. You can go ahead and do it with any items that you want. So uh, of course you want to go ahead and have one character at level 70 so that you can get this gear. And there we go, we have 83,000 go back to riches and show you I now have 83,600 rough astral diamonds I could go ahead and press a to refine them but that would only let me refine 36,000 so instead what we are going to do is we're going to go ahead and go over to queues and we're going to look for the lowest level skirmish that you can do so that's going to be the black lake terror skirmish and sometimes it takes a second to find a group, other times it's real easy to do. And like I mentioned earlier, this is partially a glitch and partially a exploit. In the fact, uh, we'll start with the exploit part. First off, when you first earn rough astral diamonds while we're waiting on this queue, the very first way that you're supposed to get them is from doing the Black Lake Terror Skirmish, which you can do at level 5. So basically, you go through the tutorial, get your character to Protector's Enclave, do the two basic quests for Protector's Enclave, and then you'll be able to queue for the skirmish. That's the first time that you're ever supposed to see rough astral diamonds. So we'll complete this skirmish, and I'll show you that those diamonds pop up. And the first ever time you complete a skirmish and you earn those rough astral diamonds, instead of being rough astral diamonds, they're automatically converted into astral diamonds and just put in your inventory as such. So of course you see that, you know, the, all the normal little pop-ups and everything. You can see this is the first skirmish I've ever queued for. And this is a very easy skirmish to do. You don't have to be level 10 to do it. I just am level 10 because I was working on getting this character into the Winter Festival, which is something else that you can do. It's basically just a storage space character. That's why its name is Bank 2. And we're going to very quickly do this skirmish, or at least as quickly as possible. It only takes a couple minutes to do this in the first place. But the glitch part of this is we're actually going to get 36,000 of that rough astral diamonds that I have on this character. We're going to get those as astral diamonds when we complete the skirmish. And that is the glitch part of this. So we're exploiting the system that gives you the first amount of rough astral diamonds as actual astral diamonds. And the glitch is the fact that instead of giving you the 500 or 300 or even 1000 if you're doing it during a double diamonds event, rough AD that you would normally receive, you are actually going to receive up to that daily maximum, which is 36,000. I have tried it with uh, more than 36,000, but there's no point. You can only get the 36,000. And then after that, I will show you what gives us the other 36,000 to make the total of 72,000. All we have to do is kill these couple hulks, and sometimes the skirmish takes a little bit longer than other times. It just depends on the team that you get. As you can see, we've got a level 13 and a level 11, but we also have a level 8 and a level 7 in here. So don't quite have the damage per second that we would if uh, you know multiple people were, say, level 15 or you know, level 14, things like that. 
course, you can only queue up for this skirmish up to level 14. So it, it's easy to do it with a low-level character. Uh, only annoying thing is she kind of knocks you down like that. Or whatever this priest nasty boss thing. Which I'm sure you've all seen this skirmish. And if you have seen it, you know it doesn't take really too long to actually kill that boss. As you can see, I got my first title and... You gotta kill those extra little sludge zombies, so get ready for it. Come to the chest, and open the chest. Gonna get 172 rough astral diamonds. And now we'll go ahead and take a look at the riches page. And you see I have 36,000 astral diamonds, and I still have 47,772 rough astral diamonds. But as you can see there, it says that I can go ahead and refine more. So I'm gonna press A to refine them for the day. And now you see I have 72,000 astral diamonds and the remaining 11,000 rough astral diamonds. So this only works on a brand new character. It does not work uh, after you've done this one time. It also does not work if you've used invocation on this character. Uh, so if you got your character to level 11 and did the invocation quest, you would no longer be able to do this. However, by using this method, let's say you build up oh, I don't know, picking a number, 600,000 or say 720,000 uh, worth of armor and you know rings and stuff for you to salvage, squish items. If you were to hold those on your other characters and transfer them being via your shared bank account slots, you would be able to basically take this 72,000 diamonds transfer them to your other characters through the astral diamond exchange if you don't know how to do that i did a video on it and then you would be able to delete this character once you delete the character you would be able to create another character get it through the tutorial and do the same thing on them of course you wouldn't want to keep any gear or anything important on that character because it would be gone but as you can see i have multiple characters that are bank characters and I always keep a free character slot so that I can do that. So pretty much you can turn all of your rough AD into actual AD or astral diamonds almost the same day that you get it. It just takes a little bit of time and patience to do so. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, comments, anything like that, make sure that you go ahead and leave a comment. Otherwise, smash the like button and remember to subscribe for more content. So thanks for watching.